The U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin this week visited the Philippines. There he met with the Philippines President and his defense counterpart to highlight the expansion and modernization of the two countries' alliance in just a few short years. VOA's Pentagon correspondent Carla Babb has more. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin breaking ground in the Philippines for a military coordination center for the two allies. Austin said America's commitment to the Philippines is ironclad and the alliance will transcend changes in U.S. presidential administrations. This is an important country, uh, not only to me, but to people in both parties back in the United States of America. Austin and his Philippine counterpart signed a new military agreement that allows both countries to share classified military information securely. The two countries remain committed to a mutual defense treaty signed in the 1950s, in which both agree to a joint response should either be attacked. The mutual defense treaty applies to armed attacks on either of our armed forces, aircraft or public vessels, including our Coast Guards, anywhere in the South China Sea. A clear message to China, whose Coast Guard has used water cannon against Philippine ships and collided with a Philippine Coast Guard ship with American journalists on board. China disputed the latter accusation, blaming the Philippine ship for the collision. China is a real and serious threat uh, to the Philippines, and the Philippines understands that the United States is his true economic and security partner of choice. Some view the intensified U.S.-Philippines cooperation as a direct counter move to Chinese maritime maneuvers that deny Philippine boats access to the Philippines' exclusive economic zones. Pseudo-military vessels disguised as uh, Coast Guard vessels and maritime militia vessels in the areas in the West Philippine Sea. They have been very aggressive in their information operations against the Philippines. China responded to the increased U.S.-Philippines cooperation by saying no military agreement should target any third party or exacerbate regional tension. Carla Bab, VOA News, the Pentagon. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.